everyone you are welcome back once again to my channel if you are new here hi my name is Kadi B and today we are going to look at Abejoye season 2 part 1 which is the peacemaker season 2 part 1 is so intriguing but before then let's have a recap of what happened at season 1 part 2 yes episode 2 so this is what happened <laughs> So yes, that was where we ended last time on the movie review. But today, but today is season two, part one, which is the peacemaker. I will urge all of us to kindly go and get it and watch it because you will get to understand the story very well. But in season two, part one is a different line. It continues though. Something happened to the man who was about to slap our own Baba. Something happened to him. You have to go and find out what happened. And download this and movie then and watch. I beg you. So this is season two, part one. Now, one thing people don't like about me and is my long prayers when i'm about to have lunch something sometimes when i remember to pray i take time i pray and that's how baba also was baba didn't understand why they had to just have a short prayer and all that so he wanted to pray more or for a long time let's hear baba's prayer So one thing I like about Baba is that yeah, whenever he hears a Bible story, he focuses his attention on it. Example, when he heard the story about Pharaoh, you know, king of Egypt, he focused his energy, his, you know, everything on it. The same way applies to us. When we read the Bible and we realize that God has delivered some people out of a situation, we have to focus our faith, connect our faith and focus our mind to it by telling God that, God, if you were able to deliver these people, then may you deliver me. May you deliver my friend, my family, something. If you read in the Bible that God um, blessed some kind of people, you tell God that, God, I connect my faith to this blessing. May you bless me. That is how Baba was really using the scriptures and i love that so much about him and if you read in the bible that god punished some people well you have to disconnect your faith <laughs> if you don't want the punishment and then connect your faith if there is a purpose for that punishment so let's pay attention to the the stories we read in the bible and apply it to our lives and i love baba so much for that like thank you thank you baba. Now, the prayer can be as long or as short, but do not disconnect or disassociate yourself from a prayer meeting because there you are giving the devil a chance. That there is a loophole. So this man had a phone call and disconnected himself from the family during the prayer time, which is so wrong. And there wasn't anybody important than the side chick or side woman. And that is so wrong. Whenever you are praying with your family, a church, I do that. It's a mistake. I'm sorry. Like <laughs> in church, you know, sometimes you take your phone to check WhatsApp or something. What prayer section is going on? That is so wrong. Let us not disassociate ourselves because the devil is looking for a way out, like a way to get through to us. Amen. So after this whole phone call, this is what happened. Okay, so the pastor had a dream about the man. I don't know his name. 
Baba son. And it was that serious. And then Baba also had a similar dream or the same dream concerning his son. So God speak, speaks to us through dreams. And through his words, so many ways God speaks to us. So we have to be very careful and pay attention. So yes, Baba had a dream about his son. The pastor also had a similar dream about the man. And that is very serious. Very serious. So we should take our dreams very serious. Pray about it. And then, but don't be scared of the dreams you have. So here, Baba was telling his son the dream he had and all that. The pastor also came in to tell, um, what is his name, Krala, the man <laughs> about the dream. Yeah, brother Dele about the dream, brother Dele. Okay. Okay, okay. Yes. Someone tie a lead around your neck as you follow the person around. I don't see the person's face. No. This is very strange to me. I don't know. I don't understand it. And we always this is deny it. This is the dream that I had to and he told us about it. Have I had a dream? There's one thing I want to say, which we is, feel we can solve it on our own. We feel we don't want to involve people, hurt our loved ones, so we can do this. No. We need to talk to somebody. That's why God has men of God for us. Our families are all there. Friends, good friends are there to help us. So when you are going through something, talk to someone. Talk to someone. Don't keep it to yourself and work it out. No. Speak, speak out. Let someone hear you out and somebody will definitely help you. Now the side chick keeps asking for money for abortion and all that. It's a whole lot. You have to go watch it. And this is the man who slapped Baba. Something happened to him. You have to go watch it and then you see why he's acting like this. Please go download the movie Abejoye and then get to know all this detail and so in their quest of making baba pay for whatever he has they decided to go to see a fetish priest or whoever it is to make baba pay so and uh, one evening the devil always works at night they went to see this fetish priest i know about god is if you are in christ you are covered like god is very focused about his loved ones the same way the devil pays attention to us and is paying real attentive and that's how god god even super super do it or supersedes it so god pays attention to us and we have to be very sensitive in hearing the voice of the lord so baba even though he was not in nigeria where they are but it was outside the country god revealed to baba a whole lot of so they called out his name Sometimes we'll be asleep and people will be calling our souls and things are happening spiritually. So they called out his name. So but Baba thought it was someone inside the house calling out to him. And he was like, what is happening? And it happens to us a lot. It really does happen to us. You will hear your name in a strange voice and all that, and you'll be surprised. And he was hearing voices. Hmm. So Baba wanted to answer these people. Baba wanted to answer these people. So you can call the person from wherever you are. If God gives you the power, the ability to respond, you definitely respond back to them. That is how come Bible says we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, spiritual darkness. There are things happening in the world that we need to rise up, pray, and then get connected to God most all the time. Sorry. So he began praying. And there's one thing I love about Baba. 
he always gives thanks to God. He always gives thanks to God. I don't know God. how much to emphasize this. Let's always give thanks to God in good times, in bad times, whatever it is. Let's continue to give thanks to God. And that is what the devil does not like. Giving thanks to God, no, don't. But that is what God responds to also faster. Baba always gives thanks to God for whatever happens and how God delivers him. He always gives thanks to God. So let's give thanks to God always. Let's be honest. Ever since I started watching this movie, I have never seen the Abejo, um, Abejoye's family praying before. I never saw them praying. Apart from Baba. Don't tell me it's because of Baba. No. But I never saw saw that unity that bond among them and that is what brings a lot of issues in the family when there is no bond when there is no god connecting the family together there is always a dispensation of attitude mindset activities whatever you can think of so here the people are angry they are scared they are confused they are trying to destroy abedroye but nothing seems to be happening so there was one alternative they had to surrender so when you watch the movie you you realize what was really happening or you get to know what was really happening um people do send other things to attack children of god and so we have to be very careful how we relate with people and how we relate with god you know sometimes you'll feel you are you are a christian you are praying you are doing everything so why does bad things still happen to you these are all part of it be grounded grounded firm and deep yes grounded firm and deep in the lord stay fast grounded firm and deep if not hey so here they sent a masquerade to come lash baba to death a masquerade now somebody may say these are movies and all that but you just said hello to someone and the next day the person died and you don't understand spiritual things happen when i tell you what happens in my room sometimes you'll be surprised but i'm not strong enough in god i thank god for the family i have and i thank god for the love he has for me because things really happening at dawn in the, where, whatever time it is the devil has no respect for anybody so they sent a masquerade to come lash Baba to death. But God always intervene. So if you are... This is the battle. This is the battle. If we know our scriptures so well, it will be easy for us to defeat the devil. But we do not know our scriptures. We don't know our quotations. We don't even know our stories. And that is serious. Now here, Baba commanded the masquerade to begin to praise God. To begin to praise God. And that is serious. We have power, we have authority. We have power, we have authority to, to command anything to work in our favor. Now this masquerade who was sent to beat Baba is now dancing to praise God. And in the name of Jesus. This is where I need to end. But I want you to watch what happened. Now this masquerade came to the kids' room. It followed. It came to the kids' room to find out if there is somebody who is not strong. Now God has a way of protecting His children, so I believe there were angels guiding them, and the masquerade has no control over them, or they are untouchable. So the masquerade has to go around looking for somebody who is not strong in God, and it got, it got one. I know you all be wondering who or some of you already know. Oh, this is my pretty girl. Untouchable. I'm telling you, this girl is untouchable. See? Now, I needed to pause there. Sometimes when we are sleeping, most of us, you can sleep and wake up with a song on your mouth like a gospel song i always wake up with this local gospel song and um, this worship songs there is a purpose for it there is a purpose for it it's a shame that some of us sleep and we wake up with this worldly songs There's, there is a question mark but when you wake up when you are sleeping singing a worship song you wake up with some song be on your heart like 
you you ask yourself why am i singing this song but you have to keep singing it all the time for for one week now there is this particular song that has been pondering over my heart a lot of times and i'm like why this song but i believe that it's speaking to my situation right now so if you wake up with a song please don't ignore it sing sing out for it's doing something on your behalf like it did for this little princess That that is what happened. That is what happened. So he came to Brother Dele and his wife's room looking for someone. Oh my god, I'll be ending soon. Yay! Wait. So the masquerade was to lash Baba to come back to the village instead. I'm sorry. So yes. So it was lashing Baba to come back. That cane was to lash you to come back. So sometimes somebody will leave the country and for no reason things don't go well. The person will just be deported or will, ha will come back and you ask yourself, what happened? Spiritual things are happening, my brother, my sister. Let's be sensitive to the things of the spirit. The person can really come back to the country. You don't even know why. Like what happened to Brother Dele? I'm going to show you that part and we'll just wrap up. Thank you. Mm, mm. That was a lot, man. That was a lot. So, yes. And we'll find out if he was able to go back to Nigeria or God intervened for him. But this is a lot. This is a lot of things we have learned from today's movie review. The exciting part is um, Manzayan has abattoir, one of my sweethearts. That's the movie. Um, they went on a break, but they are back after Abedjoye. And I'll be giving you back to back on the movie review. So I'll be giving you back to back movie review, so you can catch up with where we have gotten to and where we are. Thank you so much for watching my movie. Please don't my video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Comment, like, and share. Please share this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I love you. What is this? I love you.